Today's gospel passage describes two disciples traveling to Jerusalem, and there they tell the apostles that they have seen the risen Lord Jesus. Immediately before this gospel passage, we learn that these same two disciples had left Jerusalem where they had witnessed Jesus crucified, their leader, and their dash, their hopes dashed. They had hoped that Jesus would become a successful, powerful leader who would bring justice on earth, and yet he was crucified. And how do they respond? They travel to Emmaus, which interestingly was an ancient Roman spa city. Archaeologists have even unearthed a big Roman spa where Romans took baths and engaged in entertainments similar to a Las Vegas. And that's where they wanted to go, to drown their sorrows in the pleasures of this world in this Roman spa city. And yet, as they travel to Emmaus, to immerse themselves in what this world offers, especially pleasure, Jesus appears to them. And yet the two disciples don't recognize it as Jesus until Jesus blesses and breaks bread with them, and then they recognize it is Jesus. Jesus has risen from the dead, and as soon as they recognize him, Jesus vanishes. Strengthened, they now return to Jerusalem, and their hope, their dashed hopes, have now become transformed. They become once again hopeful, but in a new way. Because no longer are they hoping that Jesus will become a political ruler in this world, but that Jesus will lead them to another world. And not only that, in his body, that someday their own bodies also, they hope, will be reunited with their souls and become a glorified body along with Jesus. And that is also hope that this entire world at some point, and we believe at the end of time when Jesus comes in his second coming, will become transformed by a new heavens and new earth, where God will become all in all, and Jesus will transform all of physical reality into a glorified state, a new heavens and a new earth. In addition, Jesus teaches them that by vanishing when he blesses and breaks bread, that he has a special presence where in the blessed sacrament, in the Eucharist, when we celebrate Mass, Jesus is present with us in a particularly intense manner. And Jesus is also present with us in every stranger we meet, every brother and sister we meet. Although it may not be evident, as it wasn't evident when the disciples walked with Jesus on their way to Emmaus. So may we, Recognize Jesus' presence in the Eucharist every time we celebrate Mass, and also recognize Jesus' presence, His hidden presence, in every stranger we meet, in every brother and sister we encounter. And in so doing, we will be coming more and more as God intends us to become. God bless. <music>